YouTube, so I got my dermatologist sister here, and we're getting ready to go to a Hawks game. We're down in Atlanta, um, visiting a family, but we're getting ready to go to the uh, Atlanta Hawks and Brooklyn Nets game. As you can see, I'm trying to get my skin right for 2023, so she gave me a couple products that we're getting ready to use before just we head out. Just a couple, just a couple. We have a whole skincare routine video coming soon, so if you like this one, make sure you tune in for the next one. But we got just a couple products. We don't have every single thing. Everything is back home. I'm gonna do a little wash and go. I guess you could call it. Yeah. Wash and go <laughs> skin, 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 skin edition. Right. And we're gonna head out to the game. But I just wanted to show you guys just a little bit of the products that she uses, and then that's what I'm gonna be using so I can get my skin nice and clean. It looks. It, look it, like does, it actually doesn't. Yeah. Your hers is the best. Mine is. Mine is all right. It's, it has its day. We'll get you there. It, we'll get it's me there. Fine. But we'll get. We'll get there, and y'all get there because y'all watching this video. So. We're going, we're going to get it started right now. <laughs> Alright, so you already know the first step. What's the first step? Oh, I forgot to wash the face off. Right, exactly. Okay. So, we're going to use this Cetaphil. It's very, very gentle. If you have sensitive skin, it's perfect. Um, doesn't matter if you are you wear makeup, you don't, you work out all the time, you don't, you need to wash your face first. So. That's how they be doing. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> Whenever you wash your face or you put stuff on your face, you want to always go in an upward motion because mm -hmm. gravity pulls stuff down. So you always want to wash up, put moisturizer up, put mm -hmm. sunscreen on up. Like this? Yeah. And then be gentle around your eyes. want to take off all the moisture on your face because if there's no moisture there's nothing for your skin products to hold in mm. so you want to start off with a little bit of moisture on your face and then you can put sorry <laughs> then you can put your other stuff on it's like rose yeah so you cleansed mm -hmm. you left your face a little bit more a little bit still wet mm -hmm. um, and now we're going to moisturize okay. which is very important so this is one is from the ordinary it has basically hyaluronic acid in it which basically all that is is something that your skin already has but it just attracts moisture to your skin which is always good I just got back from vacation so my skin is super dry um, is your skin dry? Yeah, because it's, it's been cold. So. Yeah, it's been cold. It's been my skin and your skin has just been going through the elements. So moisture is important. It's not a gel. It's more like a cream. You just need like a pea size amount. That's really all you need. And like I said, upward motion. Yeah, everything you put on, you want to do in an upward motion, and you want to put it on your neck too. Ooh. Because naturally, over time, your skin already sags, so mm -hmm. just kind of try to... And be very gentle with your face. Yeah, I'm rough a lot. <laughs> <You're> so, you, <laughs> no, you have to be very gentle with your face, especially around your eyes, especially under your eyes. The skin mm -hmm. under your eyes is super delicate, super thin, so just be gentle with it. Take your time. Rub everything in. Daniel doesn't really have any blemishes right now, but I do, because I've been eating whatever and flying and all this stuff <laughs> so this is just like a blemish bomb it has like some natural like tea tree and anti-inflammatory stuff in it so I kind of just put it in areas where I have some breakouts just to help it a little bit it's not like medicine or medication but it does help it from getting super red and bigger than it needs to be mm. so this is that like with pimples or just like yeah this so this has it's basically lightweight bomb it minimizes blemishes and oil sheen. Okay. What type of skin do you have? I don't know. How much? <laughs> so I have dry skin. I have oh, dry skin. I'm like 
It's kind of oily. Like, but in the summertime, it's really yeah. oily. Yours is, mm -hmm. yours is kind of both. Yeah. I would say combination. Yeah. But um, I kind of use this mainly for the blemish part, not so much the oily stuff. Mm. But my mom has oily skin. And she really likes this because it kind of cuts down the oil. This is the most important step. Black don't crack, but we all need sunscreen. Okay? <laughs> we So there's four components of sunscreen that you have to have. It has to be like greater than 35 SPF. It has to be non-comedogenic, which means it's not going to break you out. Um, it has to be broad spectrum, which means that it's going to take care of all the types of UV rays. So even the ones that are inside, the ones that are outside, the ones that come from your phone, all that stuff, broad spectrum. And then water resistant. When you sweat, it still stays on, all that stuff. So I like Neutrogena. It's simple, it's dermatology tested, it's all that stuff, and it's not expensive. So um, you just gotta find one that melts into your skin. It doesn't give you a white cast because nobody likes to look like Casper. The rule is that you do two fingers, but I just do one just because this is a lot. Some people have bigger faces than. <laughs> but then if I'm doing my face and my neck, I do two. So you need to do your neck too. So it's like a two finger. It's a two finger rule. <laughs> so you just rub it in. It's like turkey. Okay. You just rub it into your hands. Still going up for it. Mm -hmm. Every day you need to use sunscreen. Rain, shine, cloudy, windy, all of it. Then that's it. And you just make sure you put some stuff on your lips. Oh yeah, for sure. Cause we, can't we can't no be moisturized skin with, with <laughs> ashy, <laughs> with ashy lips. That's it. All right. All right. Well, thank you.
Thank you.